Welcome back to Add Art. In today's lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a squirrel monkey. Now, a few children have got their grown-ups to get in contact with me to ask me to draw a monkey. So I know that Pippa did, as did Daisy and Gwyn as well. So this one's for you guys. Um, if you've got any suggestions of things you'd like me to draw on Add Art, then um, get a grown-up to leave a comment or uh, drop me a message on my Instagram account, which I'll give you at the end of this video. But let's make a start drawing this squirrel monkey. So we'll start with the top of the head. They've got quite small heads. Um, they're very small creatures. They're only about 25 to 35 centimetres long and they live in the tropical forests of Central and South America and they have these kind of bushy little ears that stick out the sides here point up let's put some eyes in some pupils into those Nostrils, and then they have this area around their mouth. Let's follow that to the other side and put a smile in, and then their markings kind of go up and over their eye. And that's the same on the other side, that's symmetrical like that to draw a little baby clinging onto the back, so a little baby monkey. And this one's going to be asleep, so we'll do its eyes closed. The way I do those is just little U's, so that it looks like the eyelids are closed there. Do the markings above the eyes. The mouth area again. Put a little contented smile in. And a nose. to the arm coming in there and it's clinging onto the mum as, it, as the mum carries it through uh, the jungles of Central and South America. Put the mummy monkey's arm in now. They're incredibly agile creatures and they have really rapid movements through the forest. It's almost as though the little baby's buried its hand into the, the back of the mum. We'll continue that line. This is the, the top of the baby's leg, and this is as though it's kind of straddling, almost like it's having a piggyback. And if I'm going a bit too fast or it looks a bit complicated, just pause it, catch up, and then press play again. So this is the leg it comes down and that'll be ripping onto some vines in a minute put the toes in the foot attach that and they have quite bright yellow arms and feet um, and they have black on the shoulders as well let's put the baby's tail cradling round the mum's leg like that. Great. Now, the mum needs a tail as well, doesn't she? So let's continue that down. And they use these tails very much for balance. Um, so we'll have this tail just wrapped slightly around a vine. Now they call these vines lianas. And these hang down in the tropical forests. front of the tail and then the tail loops round and it will look like it's gripping on like that. There we go. Just continue the 
the tail down, kind of trying to indicate that it's got a bit of fur as well, so I'm not making that line straight. Continue the vine. Now, a bit of branch that this squirrel monkey sat on, so bring that over to there, and it continues to the side. so it's quite twisted, you tend to get quite twisted vines and branches in these forests, so let's bring that up. Bring this second one round like that. Looks like it's resting its foot on there. to those twisted vines. Just need to continue this grouping vine at the back. That goes behind all of them. Start to look at it, put some put some markings on there. These vines look a little bit rougher. Put some tropical leaves in. Put these kind of sharp triangles cut into them to look like palm leaves. space and you can just put as many of these in as you want as well you could you could draw some more trees in the back if you want um, okay and then rather than getting too detailed in the back I'm just going to draw lots of these little leaves to indicate the kind of thick foliage behind the squirrel monkey. They live in these dense forests. Put the other arm in there, gripping on. A few more leaves. You can put as many of these in as, as you want. You could fill the page with them. become like a pattern, like a camouflage pattern. Remember you can spend some time colouring this in as well at the end. Just a little bit of fur sticking out the side there, and I think we're done for the day. That looks good. So there is your squirrel monkey and baby, and that one's especially for Pippa, Daisy, and Gwyn. Thanks for the suggestion, guys. It was really fun to draw that one. And like I was saying, if you want to make a suggestion to add art and um, see your idea drawn up, then get a grown-up to leave me a comment or uh, give me a message on my Instagram account, which is this one you see here. So it's at add underscore art underscore king. And maybe I'll choose yours to draw next. Um, subscribe if you uh, want to see more of my videos. And if you could give me a like on the video if you've enjoyed that, that'd be great to see as well. And I'll see you again on add art next time. Bye for now.